Hey everybody. Um, well, the title of this episode is House of the Rising Sun. And uh, what what we're not going to be able to watch every episode in Lost. So I'm going to try to like uh, do a recap or catch you up on some of the episodes on the, on the storyline a little bit. And also we're going to do that in some of our uh, wrap-up discussions. And I'll expect some of you that have watched the show uh, to help me out, maybe describing characters and things. So, um, you know, here we are. We're on uh, on the island of second chances, if you'll notice. Um, and you know, have you ever have you ever wanted to have a second chance about something? I know I have. Um, and now you've uh, you know, last week you did your uh, self reflections, and maybe you've noticed that you had some biases. Okay, um, the castaways have been on the island for six days. Okay, water is beginning to run short along with tempers. In the previous episode uh, from this one, Jack found some caves that had fresh water. At the conclusion of the episode, Jack gave a rousing speech to the castaways in which he punctuated it with the phrase, okay, here's the phrase, if we can't live together, we're going to die alone. Now, remember that phrase. Throughout the series, there are frequently spoken phrases that often point and go along with the various themes of loss. So uh, I, I want to encourage you to look at uh, the different phrases that are out there uh, in the, during the show and, and what they might point to. Uh, they can be clues to what's going on. Uh, the castaways have been on the island long enough to start forming a community. Uh, to help with the survival, and the community is one of the major themes. Community is one of the major themes of the show. Lies and deceptions. Um, I want you to notice cons and lies are also a major theme of Lost. Many of the characters lie, con, and deceive one another. And as you watch this episode, I want you to, to uh, uh, see if you notice any lies or any cons or any deceptions going on. Creation. In this episode, an Adam and an Eve are found in the caves. Men of all times have been asking themselves... Where do we come from? Where are we going? What is our origin? What is our end? Where does everything that exists come from? And where is it going? Have you ever asked yourself any of those questions? Some philosophers have said that everything is God that the world is God, or that the development of the world is the development of God. This is called pantheism. Others have affirmed the existence of two eternal principles, good and evil, light and darkness, and they're locked in this permanent conflict. This is called dualism or Mancheism. Some say that the world is evil, the product of the fall, and thus be to be rejected or left behind. This is referred to as Gnosticism. Some admit that the world was made by God, but as a watchmaker who, once he has made the watch, abandons it to himself. This is called Deism. Others reject any transcendent or supernatural origin for the world, but see it as, a mere, as merely the interplay of matter that has always existed. This is known as materialism. So uh, I want you to uh, keep these things in mind as we watch the series of Lost. Uh, see if you see any of them playing out. 
Um, also, I want you to be sure and listen uh, on the, the opening page uh, on the tab there, the, the House of the Rising Sun. It has a link to uh, the song House of the Rising Sun. And if you notice, this, this title, title seems to have dual or even more meanings. Um, Sun happens to be the character's name, you know, uh, and and there is a song uh, by the name of House of the Rising Sun. I want you to listen to it, and listen to the lyrics toward the end of the song, which read, "One foot is on the platform, and another on the train. I'm going back to New Orleans to wear that ball and chain." Now, when you watch the episode, do you, do these lyrics imitate? The choice that Sun had to make at the airport in Sydney. So enjoy, enjoy House of the Rising Sun.